What's up, guys? I was told here. So this morning, I want to try out the Act 1 Mercenary. Now, what's strange, however, is how Microsoft, or whoever the toad you call them now for this PTR, they decided to not give us any five-socketed elite bows of any fucking sort that weren't in a crossbow. Because, of course, the crossbow you can't use on the mercenary, the repeating crossbow. And also, it performs like ass on the Amazon, compared to the other options. So I guess I can't make the new rune word to test out in the PTR. On the mercenary, but whatever. I don't know. Maybe they thought uh, it's best for us not to test everything in the PTR. Maybe that was their logic behind this. Must be the same logic behind why they didn't give us any Amazon-oriented bows at all. We didn't see any of that bullshit in the stash. But maybe their logic is, no, we don't want you guys to test the Amazon-oriented bows, because those are, like, endgame bows. We don't really want you to test endgame content. We just want you to test things a tier under that or two. We just want you to make it in a Hydra Bowl, all your rune words. Because that's what that's all we're giving you, is a Hydra Bowl. And because from that, maybe that'll be adequate. And then you could bump up your strength a lot more in decks. And take a damage hit and an IAS hit. And maybe that's sufficient for testing. I don't know, maybe that's the logic behind it. Let me know in the comments below. The first sip of toad juice in the morning... All right, but this mercenary has fortitude and Dario's visage with charm and a wrath bow in the hydra bow. Because like I said, that's all they gave us is a hydra bow. What the toad? Now, wrath, <coughs> the problem is its damage is kind of ass. Uh, as you can see here, now that's with the fortitude. I mean, look at without the fortitude. 600, 600 93? So, but it has some redeeming qualities, uh, primarily the Decrepify and Striking. Uh, it's a pretty high chance, so if she has an okay attack speed, which she doesn't so much with the Hydra Bow, unfortunately, but it'll have to do for now, because I don't have anything else to make it in. If she has a sufficient enough attack speed, you really could be ta uh, casting this Decrepify like a little toad. In which case, it could be very beneficial uh, to many character types. Uh, one of which would be, I think, Frenzy or Whirlwind Barbarian. Or a Zeal Paladin. Or another Amazon, a Multi-Shot or Strafe Amazon with an Act 1 Mercenary. But of course, you're making some major Thakwafithes when you do that. Because you might want a Pride Merc, or you might want a Might Work. And so far, it doesn't seem like they really brought these Act 1 Mercenaries up to par... With the general endgame mercs. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's nice that they shoot freezing or and all. That's a step in the right direction. But it's a very small step. Uh, who really in the... Who really is going to use this? But I wanted to see how this Wemon uh, performs. Uh, Wrath has a lot of demon damage. Some nice undead damage. A small variety of magic and lightning. Crushing blow, which is actually quite nice on a mercenary. And they cannot be frozen. Which is also quite nice on the mercenary, and I guess she doesn't need that charm rune in the helm. So I could have put an IS jewel in here and uh, checked breakpoints, but I didn't. So we're gonna have to keep going. Uh, res are almost maxed, but anyway, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how she can handle. I have the sorceress with this character just so I can kind of position the merc a little better. Oh my god, she sucks ass. Holy shit, she killed something. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. My god. She's barely attacking. Maybe that's... Hell yeah, she's about to kill the boss. If I if I survive. Uh, maybe that's uh, part of the problem with the uh, Act 1 Mercenaries, I think, is that... They generally try to uh, run away. They have to reposition themselves so frequently. Where 
they act two mercenaries or they act five mercenaries. They're just always, uh, they're just always going forward toward the enemy. You know what I'm saying? They don't have this whole kiting thing going on. A very slow, an extremely slow kite. Look at that. That's bullshit. They don't have an extremely slow kite going on like that. Now, it's probably best to have, uh, my god, a tank character with a rogue. Um, something like a necromancer might be okay, but of course, again, it's hard to compete with the Act 2 mercenaries if you're a necromancer as well. Because you can get all the nice auras. Uh, you can get might for your minions. You can get Holy Freeze to just freeze shit and other things. So maybe a uh, maybe a, a lightning, a charge strike Amazon. Really, I think would probably be most ideal uh, because then you don't really uh, benefit much from might to where you might not so much need an Act 2 Mercenary. But the problem is then you have uh, products like Infinity. Great that are really going to cut you short, dog. If you're not going to use that. And you can't use that shit with Act 1 women, obviously. Um, some have argued, let us make infinity and bows. I don't know. It'd be niche, right? <coughs> N-I-T-C-H? That shit would be niche AF. Uh, but, like, if you make it in a bow... Because it's not like you're going to really want it on a boson so much, or maybe a what? You'd pierce the shit out of there. Yeah, you could break fire me. I mean, shit, maybe, maybe we should be able to make it on a bow. I don't know. Why can't we make it on a bow? It's not like it's going to always be better than fate. Because it won't. It'll just be for, uh, like, mage zones and stuff. Which are pretty subpar. However, uh, they would be more viable uh, if they did have an infinity bow. I mean, why the fuck not? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Of course, they could mod the stats a little bit. Like they do, like how Spirit, you know, has slightly different stats uh, in a shield than it does in a sword. So in a similar way, and same thing with Phoenix in a shield and a sword. So in a similar way, why not? Uh, I mean, they could like nerf the damage or something if they allowed infinity to be in a bow. Hell yeah, dog. She's killing. She's... Yeah, it took her about... You know, it took her about 10 fucking minutes to kill the first little wave. But whatever. I mean, she can do it. Look at that. Hell yeah. That freezing arrow's pretty tight. Alright. So now... I'm going to try... I love identifying that shit. I'm going to try uh, Faith now. So here's her damage. Only a thousand. But the benefit is when she casts a Crepify, uh, it really pierces their physical resistance. So uh, she does a lot more damage. I think I had to find this great bow. I don't think it was supplied. Unfortunately. All right, let's see how this little wabbit uh, performs now. Oh, you can't you can't click those and they'll cast apparently. That's unfortunate. So I don't want to cast my thunderstorm. That would kind of be cheating. Hell yeah! Faith, nice. And notice her attack speed. So two thousand uh, max damage now. So yeah, if I had a character that uh, was a bit more tanky, it would allow your mercenary to uh, to not have to kite so much. I wonder if the ranged Amazon needs a skill, like how she has that inner sight. I wonder if she needs one that would blind enemies a little bit. I mean, it really only makes sense. Kind of sucks ass. It's not like she's OPAF and everyone's going to be using her if they give her some shit that she can cast that blinds enemies for like one second. Apparently I still, I still might need a new graphic card. Look at that, it's all choppy and shit. I have the 3060 and I had to bust my fucking ass to get it. Because... 
there was out of stock you know there was out of stock all the graphic cards and I waited in line at worst by anymore. one time for like two hours and I was dumbass because they had the uh, 3090 or some shit it was like twelve hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollars it might have been the 3080 Ti is all they had left. It was the $1,300 one, okay? And I was like, ha, I don't need to get that. I was like, all I play is Diablo. It's like, I don't need that 3080 Ti, do I? I thought about it. I was like, I just don't know if I can justify spending $1,300 on this graphic card when it's most likely a $400 one would be just as sufficient for Diablo. It's kind of where my thoughts were, but uh, maybe I was wrong. What graphic card do you guys use? And which one do you think is most optimal? Like, maybe maybe the 3080 Ti should have been the way to go. I don't know. I mean, the thing is a fucking hog. And I was, like, worried it was going to just get all hot and shit. But it probably wouldn't if I'm just running Diablo. Because that's the thing. I really only play Diablo. And uh, I intend to play Elder Scrolls 6 when it comes out. Or whenever that might be. God, this mercenary sucks ass. Maybe I'll try to get her on some non. You know, someone made mention in a duel game how uh, maybe like a wind force mercenary with fortitude, I don't know, Andy's visage, and uh, paladin with enigma. Or maybe Nigma won't be the best option, but a Paladin that can teleport nonetheless with Magus Staff or something like that, even a Tele Amulet. You could have, like, his uh, concentration applied. And then he could just teleport away from characters let the rogue shoot at him. I wonder how well that would work. I mean, it probably wouldn't work all that great, but if you get a noob who's low HP, low block, uh, you might be able to kill it. I don't know, I'd be kind of curious to see it in action. Uh, I do have Wind Force. So Faith just, uh, it's just not that impressive. Even on the mercenary. Uh, they just, they just kind of suck. You know, that's always been the case, is these mercenaries, they just always kind of suck. I don't know if they need Strafe or something. Um, I don't think it'd be a problem if they give a multi-shot. If they use it once in a while, maybe. But you dogs think that, uh, that card? Maybe I should have got that card. Fuck. I think they've come down a little bit in price. Uh, but with the GPU, the chip shortage and all that, they're still pretty high up there. Uh, because what I ended up doing is I bought a PC pre-built. Uh, it was like, it was like $1,700. has an i7 11700K. And solid state hard drive. Uh, I know I paid up a little bit, right? I paid a few hundred dollars over what the shit should have been worth. It came with 3060, the EVGA one. 3060 plane, not the TI. It's gonna be like 400 more dollars to get the uh, 3070 TI. And I just thought for Diablo maybe it's sufficient, but I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I guess looking back. Although, if I would have bought that 3080 Ti at the time for 1200 bucks or whatever, I don't think I would have gotten a new PC. I would have just put it in my old PC, and it's kind of nice to have this new PC. It's quiet as a toad. And uh, the cooler already went out. It was fucking up. Uh, it went out in like 30 days. The cooler went out. Uh, my processor was all overheating and shit. I was scared, man, because I know these motherfuckers probably aren't going to give me any money back. Some some weird ass place um, it was cyber power PC all right I bought them once before and it was it worked fine so I just did it again but the damn thing was fucked up 30 days in I looked at the return policy it's like it was probably they probably were gonna try not to cover it or something I don't know maybe they would have sent me some cheap ass one 
So I just went to Worst Buy and I spent 80 bucks and got a Corsair uh, water cooler and I'm pretty pleased with it. So yeah, I should have uh, from the get-go just put in a better water cooler. That's what went out is the water cooler. Processor was getting up to 80, 90, uh, touched 100 degrees a few times. It was weird, I was playing Diablo 3 and the screen just started chopping up big time. I was like, what? I was like, what's going on here? I had no idea it was just my processor overheating. I thought it was something to do with my graphic card. Or, uh, I don't know, just some, some hard drive shit going on. Brand new PC, right? 30 days old. Might have been slightly over there, weren't it? It was like slightly over 30 days. It was cray cray. It's fucked up, dog. So, I looked into it. I, I downloaded some little program that monitors your uh, processor heat and temperature and yeah of course it was uh, way over here i turned the damn thing on and within 10 minutes it was getting up to uh, probably within six seven minutes it would get up to 70 80 90 degrees it was crooked even even after letting it rest for uh, an hour or two or to the point where it was uh set at about 40 degrees or so yeah it's weird i got a nice thick corsair one in there and it's fine now see so wind force I mean, unless if it's supplemented with uh, fanaticism, I think it really sucks. Now, I wanted to try that mist bow. I'll put that to Apparently, we can't place. try that bullshit. I'm actually really liking Wrath. Hell yeah. Wrath's an absolute toad. Look at her. I'm gonna waste that boss. Hell yeah, leveled up. Look at that slug though. It does so it's 40 Dumbass. Fucking dumb dumb toad. What the hell bow was she just using? She was using faith? I don't know what she was. <laughs> oh but shit, that, that was wind nice. force. Dumb toad. So Wrath doesn't have any IS, so I was gonna suck ass. So Wind Force is actually doing okay. My god, what a piece of shit. So being Wrath would be a little better. The thing with Mist, though, is it has 100% pierce. So, like, those, uh, those freezing arrows will pierce, man. They go through all them motherfuckers. You know what, man? Fuck this. I don't know. Maybe I should... The Wind Force is doing a little better, but... Yeah, the Act 1 Merc sucks. Uh, wanted to try the Mist. I don't know. Maybe I'll find it? You gotta go find the fucking thing. You gotta go find the fucking base. It's a PTR. I thought they were gonna supply us with things that we can test. What the fuck? I mean, look at this. They give us, it's not in the bases. They think we're gonna make it in a normal mode item? Why the fuck would we do that? God damn. It's fucking bullshit. And then they think we're gonna make it in this? Who the hell uses these? Look at this shitty damage. Are you kidding me? God damn. Those stacks of bolts are like 150. Even the stacks suck. You know, like at least give us a bigger stack. God damn. That's the best they give us. So we can make that new bow in a normal mode. Not even a fucking Air Amazon oriented bow. Not that I think they can get five sockets. Pretty sure they can't. But where the hell are the Amazon oriented bows? We're supposed to be able to test this sand game stuff. We're supposed to make faith in that. We're supposed to make wrath in that. We're supposed to make mist in that. We're supposed to make ice in that and all that other bullshit. God damn. They don't give us, did they forget? Do you think they just forgot? That the Amazon has bows that are made for him. You know, you'd think they would have taken advantage of that. What the fuck? To test them. 
Who's going to use this? A regular repeating crossbow dog? See, and I had to find this. I found that gray bottom. It made me a fate. Hell yeah. But they didn't give us... They just gave us one four-socketed hydro bow. God damn. And then you got the item bases. I wonder who did this. It seems like anyone who played Diablo for like a year? Less? I don't know who played it fucking 10 years ago would like remember this. They'd go on here, they'd be like, oh. Okay, yeah, I'll make the PTR. Yeah, okay. Oh, you want me to do Amazon? Okay, I mean, it's been like 10 years since I played the fucking game. But okay, okay. I think I can do it. So then you're like, okay, there's Faith. There's that Wrath Ball. There's some ice thing. Like, you'd Google it. You'd look it up. You're like, oh, yeah, there's the ice. He just Google the fucking things. He'd be like, yeah, 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 there's ice. Okay. And then he'd be like, wait. That's right. Amazon. They had those bows that gave one to three to bow and crossbow skills. That's right. Yeah, 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 we need that in the PTR, because the PTR is for them to test the items and the characters and the skills, so we're going to put those in here. You know, even somebody who barely played Diablo, even somebody who never fucking played Diablo could do that. You just got to use Google. You think that the, you think that the mods, the moderators here, did they forget that you can use Google? Like, they probably never played Diablo. So they're like, you could have just used Google. I mean, you just type that fucking shit in. You say, Amazon Bose. I mean, you could go on the Area Summit website. What if they forgot? What if they did go on the Area Summit website and they just clicked? You know how there's like elite items? And it ends at Hydra Bow. And I don't believe there's a matriarchal GMB bow in that. You have to go to class specific items. They must have forgot you could do that. They must just say, okay, okay, I gotta make rune words for this game I never played before. I don't know shit about it. I gotta supply, I don't know, these guys with stuff that they can test content with or something like that. So they went on the area website, they just hit unique, they just hit base items, and they must have just clicked. The normal ones and the uh, elite ones, but they forgot. They didn't. They didn't see that tab. That's class specific items. That must be what it was. Because obviously they they must have had no idea those items exist. All right, that makes sense. They just forgot. They just forgot. Uh, they just didn't see that tab on the Area Summit website. There, there that there are actually Amazon oriented bows in this game. That's okay. That's fine. Hopefully we'll see him in the final product. Maybe after the test round, like those bows will be back in the game. I don't know. We'll see. But hey, yeah, give a little ice toad a sub. Uh, follow me on Discord. It's been nice talking with you guys on Discord. I'm glad a lot of you encouraged me to get it. I think it was partly Dane who encouraged me to get it. And a few others of you. And Dave's a moderator on there. One of them, him and Liv. So thank you guys. But you have many wives. If you want to become a patron, links in the description below. Uh, and if so, may your finances be blessed. And may you have many wives. Peace with you.